Hi, I'm Jacob and I'm your freestyle dance teacher, bitch. Let's address the elephant in the room, okay, bitch? I bleached my hair. So, basically, the whole situation behind this whole change of head of hair, you know, this was... I was in Korea, bitch. So, to be precise, and I was like, you know what, bitch? I want to dye my hair. I want to just do a change. And I was thinking about it. And I was like, you know, I'm going to do it when I get home, you know? It would be quality content for you. It would be great. We would love it. Brad Mondo would go and watch my video react, insult me. But, you know, that's okay because it's warranted. However, I was talking to my mother on the phone. And I was like, sup, sis? How, how, how's life, you know? You missing me much? She was like, no whatever i was like you know i'm thinking of dyeing my hair and she's like don't do that you'll look disgusting so when i had that kind of ammunition i was about to <coughs> and i wanted to uh bleach my hair so here we are in this situation now i've got blonde hair anyway that was so long-winded whatever i'm here with a little haul now i'm really doing up a big proper youtuber you know but no i'm not i'm not that kind of bitch okay right so basically i went to tokyo and I went to South Korea. Now, I tried my hardest to vlog the whole situation. However, no, I can't vlog. I can't, can't, can't vlog. Like, I'm not too shy to whip out my camera and say, yo, bitch, how, how is everything? How is life going on? I just can't vlog. Like, it's just awful. I did try a little bit, you know, and I will insert little footage, this, that, and the other as we go along. But I just... It, I just can't. So I thought, how am I going to like, let these bitches know on the YouTube, you right now watching that, you know, I'm a traveler bitch. I actually bought loads of stuff. So a haul would be quite fitting, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm gonna try and split this up into two different section scenario situations. So basically, I'm going to show you the things that I bought in Korea and Japan. I think I'm gonna try and do what well, I got in Japan first and what I did in Korea because that's chronolo chronological because I went to Japan first, didn't it? So here we are. First thing, so I got this. This is, can you actually see? Oh Lord, the, the ring light, you can see the ring light in it. So this is um, a face wash. It's like, you know, one of those face washes and you put them on your skin and you wash your face in it and um it clumps. That's what, that's what this is. And it's, can you see? Look, 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 look. can you actually see? Oh lord, you can't see. Yeah, see? This picture ain't gonna focus, but that's actually a okay. Looks like you've got chunks of like dirt on you, but it actually works very well. So got that. Would highly recommend. Would only use it like twice a week though, because it really does dry out your skin. Anyway, second thing is, okay, my face wash that I use is Herbalism by Herbalism by Lush, yeah. Great, love it. However, that bitch is pricey, okay? For a pot it's 20 pounds. I don't have 20 pounds to my name anymore. And I was in Japan and it ran out. It went equivalented to zero. And there was none left. So it's like, oh yikes! I need to get myself a nice face mask and um, face wash. Just a fa I didn't. It doesn't even need to be nice. I need a face wash to wash my face with. And bam, this boy came into play. So I was in Daiso now. If you don't know what Daiso is, it's like a they're equivalent to a pound shop, a dollar tree, a hundred yen shop, and they sell stuff for hundred yen. So I saw this share. Can we? Oh my god, doing up YouTube, you know. Can you see? I mean, it's all in Japanese, so it doesn't even matter. But it's by some... Oh, my God. It, oh, oh, oh. Why is it not focused? Oh, it's a face wash, yeah. It's a um, ER white medicated acne face wash. And I'll tell you what, this shit slaps. Okay, I will not lie to you. Right now, you can't tell because obviously I've got bad skin. But I'm going to put that down to the changing atmosphere, climate, pollution. pollution. Literally nothing to do with this and to do with my face, okay? Look, it's great. I don't recommend. It costs 70p. Can you go wrong? Uh -uh. And then I also got this Acne Care Protect Gel Cream, 25 grams. This also costs 70, oh, I should have probably told you how much everything costs. This costs like 15 pounds, so expensive. This costs 70 pence. And I'll tell you what, you put it on as a gel on the spot scent problem areas and you just go about your day or you're, you're, you go to bed, whatever you want. This shit slaps like a butt cheek. Wow. These together, mm. staying on that Daiso grind, I got some cutlery last time i went to japan i got this because i like the design of the guy i think he looked quite nice in it look there you go here's his face it's got some little blue chip uh, like marks like you cannot see this because the camera ain't gonna focus but that's actually okay so i got this and i was like you know this is wonderful i really enjoy it so i got another one so i have two in my possession but then they had more so i got this bitch she's like and then i also got this one 
Great. I did get one more thing from Dyson. Oh, I got two more things. Oh my god, I've just found something. So I got this tapestry in it. It's fun. The load of sumo wrestlers. And actually, I also got this. Wait, let me show you. Actually, can you see? Look, look at this bitch. There. I got that as well. So that was really fun. And that's about the tapestry. This is my favorite purchase from the whole trip. I actually feel. Um. I got Crocs. Now these Crocs are actually fake. Do you want to know how much these cost? No. These actually cost. Right. Thirty pounds? No. Ten pounds? No. Five pounds? No. Two pounds? Yes. Two pounds. One pound per shoe. These shits are comfy. Wow. What a great purchase. Okay. Let's move on to the clothing portion of Japan. Let's start off with my first top. This one. Oh, uh, it's actually all creased because it was an ocean machine. I just took it out. So this says <clears throat> Purpose Pacific Con. I don't know, 98. Concord, California, October 17th, 18th. I just thought the colours were cool and it was like six pounds. So I was like, you know what, bitch? Let's actually do it. Okay, this is the Concord top. I love the vividity, the vivaciousness of this top. Like the back is just boring. Everyone looks at the front. So what are you saying? Okay, so the second one top situation I got was this. And let me tell you why I got this. Okay, first of all, it's a very nice colour. And it also says Volvo on. Now, I really want a Volvo. I don't know if I've mentioned this in previous videos, but I really want a Volvo. And I'm, I I was thinking about, I can't drive illegally. And I want a Volvo. And I want a Volvo XC90. But they're really expensive anyway. But I got this, as this is like a second best for a Volvo. So that's the front. And it also has a back to it, which is like snazzy. So there we go. This is the Volvo top. Vroom, vroom. Just know they can't catch me. Vroom, vroom. The truant thing that we have is this. Oh, fuck. This jumper situation. And let me tell you about the price. This is brand new, yeah? Four pounds. Four. Actually, four pounds. <laughs> actually continuing the forever 21 haul is this these are bottoms you'll see them better when i put them on but these are, are actually so ugly i don't know what went through me when i bought these but they'd be looking like a newspaper i'd be looking like the daily mail when i wear them i'm more of a guardian kind of lass but beggars can't be choosers in this life these are my crocs these are the trousers i'm just not a massive fan of the trousers the next thing oh honey bun this jumper hoodie windbreaker but denim kind of situation i love this <coughs> sorry this is a children's size and it fits me can you imagine look at that i love that like a little you know high neck it's just fabulous got a zip there we got some pockets going on here can you see the pockets but look at the back shiny and shiny and shiny it's got this reflective strip, which is cool. And a bum pocket. Like, there is actually nothing that can actually go in here. But, you know, I could, like, cut a little hole into it. And, you know, I'm joking. I'm actually joking, mum. Tell me. Tell me. This shit don't suck. Because if you tell me this is ugly, you're actually lying. Look, pocket here. Pocket there. There's pocket fucking everywhere. Oh, catch me in my kid's clothing. You can't. You actually can't. You can't. I'm light years ahead. I'm over there, you're back there. Although what I will say is this strip on the back made me look like I'm a postman. Can you tell that I'm getting bored of filming this already? I am, so, I've got such a stupid attention span. Anyway, next top from Uniqlo is this one. It's like a teal with stripes and that. This costs three pounds from Uniqlo. It's thick, so it really does, you know, it doesn't make me look like I've got two double D tits. It makes me look like I've got like a C cup if that. Ooh, ooh. Disgusting. Do you see what I'm saying though? Like, actually, it does hide my breasts. So that is actually so cool. And look, oh, oh, it's, it's on the line, the line on the back as well. I've got another thing from Japan and it's this top, okay? It's a medium, can I just say? It's too small for me. You'll see, it's actually too small. I'll actually wear it for you. My thought process was, you know, even if it is a bit too small, I will just lose some weight. You know, I've been planning on doing it and maybe this t shirt will 
give me the kick up the ass to lose weight i can confirm here it's not done that so whatever anyway it's just two tigers you know one called Philip and one called Bert with some lightning in the background and I just thought the colours were just snazzy. If you're not feeding the colour, wham bam, thank you ma'am, it's in black and white on the back. Do you see what I'm saying? It's actually too small for me. It's actually minute. Look, actually look at this. This is the last thing, oh sorry, from my Japan section of the vlog. Now this costs like nothing and it's just this jumper. And I like the colour and I like the line thing, you know. It gives me very 80. Oh, it's stinky though. But I just thought that looks snazzy. It's also got a high neck. Now, when I'm looking for clothes, I always look for a high neck. I just think they're just a bit more flattering. It makes clothes look a bit more fitted. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so that is it. This is the 80s jumper. I actually, I don't care what you say. I love this. It's so comfortable. I love the neck. I love this. I love the colour literally everything about this is perfect to me anyway let's move on to korea i have got i got face masks you know when bitches are like i didn't come to play i'm actually not joking i didn't come to play Ooh. i got the ac cleanup mask from e2 house this shit slap i'll tell you that Cost nothing. Now I've used these face masks before, and I didn't know in Korea it's like a common thing to do buy one get one free. So I was getting buy one, I was getting one free. I was just going all over the shop. So I got like four packs. Then they have Daiso in Korea. I got face masks, so I got that one, 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 and I also got these collagen eye masks. Okay, because one of my biggest insecurities is my under eye bags are just so rude you can't really see it because i've got like blazing on my eyes but you can actually see it anyway i got those eye masks don't know if they've actually worked because i've only used them twice say so, whatever you say hun and i also got these and you put like when you're wearing a face oh this one's wet but you know when you've got a face mask on you just struggle you just put it on and you just walk around in your business because i don't know about you but with face masks yeah, it's like they always fall off my face it's actually so rude i got this and it's actually really helpful so i think i might leave this on for the rest of the video and then the last thing that i got from this whole trip what well, smells like cucumbers i've got cucumber in my fridge is i got this shirt it's just a black shirt and it's got white stitching on i just thought it was so snazzy so i got it and that and you'll see what it looks like on, on my, my body, body. This is the black shirt with the white embroidery, can you see? Do you like it? Do you just like it? I'm sweating like a mother trucker. Anyway, so guys, I hope you really did enjoy this haul. Oh, I got a ring. Sorry, I forgot to show you. I got a ring. It's so pretty. Anyway, I hope you really did enjoy this video. I enjoyed making it and I enjoyed being in Korea and Japan buying everything that i needed to buy for this video i'll leave you now i'll speak to you later hope you have a good day good afternoon good morning good night you know whatever you want to do be i'm not gonna judge have a good time anyway see you in the next one bye thanks for watching